Mr. Redmond's class always begins with a check-in, and his students have plenty to say. I want to be a scientist. There are no small dreams here. Once a week, every student at Baker Elementary visits the Smart Lab to collaborate on new ideas, design original objects, and build structures. They study science, too. If you're not exposed to something, you can't, don't think you have the opportunity to do it. You build yourself a glass ceiling. And once you're exposed, you feel comfortable. So when they go into middle school, they said, yes, I've built something. There's a sign on the building that says Campos EPC, which is an engineering and construction firm based in Denver, Colorado. The firm decided it was time to invest in California children and donated more than $140,000 to make the Smart Lab possible this semester. Baker students have been steaming ahead ever since, using science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. I'm enjoying technology and science, and technology science is part of technology. Jaden Clincy and Destiny Garcia have been hard at work in the smart lab writing code, a special language used to communicate with computers. Destiny explains it this way. If you were coding Jaden, we would say to move that way, which is right. Yeah, right. And then, so then he would take a step right. That's basically what coding. Every classroom of students, kindergarten through fifth grade, comes here once a week to grow their education and plant seeds for careers that could include a doctor or an architect. I'm going to try to make an outline of this, then I'm going to try to see, see if I can make some walls. There's also time for fun stuff. Salvador is ready for his roller coaster. I like engineering. What do you like about roller coasters? They make you fun. While corporate money paid for the computers and learning resources, families of these students and the children themselves also made investments in their futures. 35 to 40 percent gave whether it was a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars. I have kids coming in here with pennies in an envelope. These kids are just amazing. A true success story when the education system can use it most. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.